So while everybody's losing their minds over Black Ops Cold War Season 3 drop, I mean, that's what's happening, right? Everybody's doing that. Um, sit back, relax, put on your time traveler glasses, put on your nostalgia filter, and join me. We're going to be ranking every single weapon. This is a brand new series, so I really hope you guys enjoy um, Modern Warfare 2, fresh gameplay. We're starting with the Godly. UMP 45 so basically the premise of this series and I really hope you guys enjoy if you enjoy my Modern Warfare 2 videos or you enjoy Modern Warfare 2 in general please be sure to smack that thumbs up button I would appreciate that very much it sends these videos out into YouTube's algorithm and hopefully into your sub box and of course subscribe for more if you haven't subscribed for more Modern Warfare 2 gameplay so I was thinking to myself you know I like to play Modern Warfare 2 a lot as you guys know I go through all that crap <laughs> here with the cables just to play Modern Warfare 2 and to deliver it, uh, you know, to my channel. Doing that through the PS3 is not the easiest thing in the world, but I just enjoy the game so much and I want to share my, you know, the love of the game with you guys, right? So, because I've played Modern Warfare 2 since literally day one, actually, don't tell Activision. No, please don't tell Activision. I actually got a copy of the game like a week and a half before the game dropped. It was a Wild West, 2009. It was a different time, trust me, guys. Um, I wanted to share my my thoughts about all the weapons in this game. And we're going to be starting with probably the best, or maybe it's super high up there, but it's just god-tier stuff. UMP-45. This gun, this gun, you either hate it or you love it. It's it's total cheese fest. Everybody was angry getting killed by it back in the day. Insane. It could have doubled as a submachine gun, could have doubled as a assault rifle. Literally anything. You could snipe snipers with this fucking thing. It was, it's great. And to show the greatness that this game is, I'm going to be ranking every single weapon um, on, a, on a scale. You know, S tier, A tier, B tier. CD and so on and so on in Modern Warfare 2. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to be probably experimenting. I'm going to try to do, um, if I'm doing different weapons or whatever, I'm going to try to do like maybe live commentaries playing with those guns or whatever. We'll see how the format changes. But this is kind of the pilot episode and what better way to do, you know, to kick off this series than with probably the people's champ, the fucking favorite among favorites in Modern Warfare 2. Let me tell you how I would run the UMP, and this is fresh, fresh gameplay um, on Modern Warfare 2. It's it's so fresh, it's still it's still hot. It's still hot. It's that's that's how fresh it is, and it was fast paced, just mwah, just perfect. Uh, so how I would run UMP 45 back in the day, and still do, as you guys can see, is I would slap marathon. I would put either hardline or cold blooded. And I would put Ninja Pro to be super sneaky silent, okay? But the favorite, to a lot of which people still run this, but the favorite from back in the day was this three-piece. Marathon Lightweight Commando. <laughs> That's it. You see the person charging at you from 100 miles away with that UMP, with Commando, with Lightweight, with Marathon. Holy crap, you either duck for cover or try to take him out. Uh, the person that's charging at you because that was just a lethal combination. Uh, Lightweight brought something to the table that, you know, the movement in this game was so much more, I want to say faster, uh, with infinite speed. In Call of Duty 4, you, d you had extreme conditioning as a perk, but in here, you had Marathon Pro. And what Marathon Pro did was it allowed you to sprint infinitely for an infinite amount of time. And that was a game changer. You guys know from back in the day, if you've been around that long on my channel, Marathon is, without a doubt, my favorite, favorite uh, perk of all time. Uh, just to be able to run for infinite amount of times, back then that was big. And then on top of that, you had Lightweight, which allowed you to uh, run even faster. And with smooth, uh, fast mobility, the UMP, you know, with Marathon, with Lightweight, with Commando, was unstoppable, and I remember raging so much back in the day. You could that's all you got killed by. But then people kind of realized, okay, if you can't beat him, join him. 
so people just started to you know use the same classes use the same setups and whatever I kind of tried to stay away from the cheese uh, I would always use kind of different weapons you know on my channel I did kind of come around to the UMP much later in Modern Warfare's 2 life cycle I just felt just dirty using that gun you know what I mean can't find that guy hey trusty knife there you go um, yeah, I felt a little bit dirty using it, so I kind of stayed away. And whenever you go back to my channel, yeah, I covered the UMP here and there, but it wasn't my top most used weapon, you know what I mean? It was always there, like, taunting me, wanting me to use it, but I was just like, no, I can't. <laughs> and, man, that was stupid of me to do, because, to be honest, and look, appreciate the greatness that is the Burst Fire UMP. That is uh that is good range and that's a that's in the submachine gun uh, tier. And if you guys share my sentiment of the UMP, I don't know, did you use it back in the day? Let me know in the comment section below. Or maybe you were kinda like me, like, ah oh, damn, it's just too much UMP spam, so I think I'm going to use something else. And I totally don't blame people for using this. This is S tier stuff. The UMP on our first official video, this is a S tier rank weapon in Modern Warfare 2, hands down. Um, it's it's way up there, quick mobility, good rate of fire, doesn't, no recoil basically, especially if you burst. You could take out snipers, I'm telling you, that's a thing. If a sniper has a really bad shot, one, two, three, even if you have stopping power or something like that, that's a game over. And nobody ran it with like, um, you know, rapid fire, few people did here and there. But mostly what ended up happening is you slap a silencer on that, you pick your three perks, and it's a done deal. You set your perks up, and this guy baited. <laughs> there you go, so I walked into the claymore right there. But man, with all the hackers and everything around, there's just no time to be... There's just no time to be civil, you know. If I want to get Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, I'm probably going to go for the easiest thing to do. But I want to showcase this game with whatever's left, because, you know... Actually, what ended up happening, and this is a cool thing, Sony reversed its decision to close down PSN store, so that's cool. But hopefully, Activision's not gonna yank this from under us, because that would be... That would be terrible! <laughs> you know, imagine they shut the servers down for Modern Warfare 2, the game that's already been on the ground, kicked, demolished, powerbombed, just everything. Um... And, and then they're gonna yank the servers and not even release Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. So I have to do this series to share my views of the game uh, with you guys. Maybe some younger viewers who haven't experienced Modern Warfare 2. And that's why I really, really want, aside from selfish reasons, clearly that I want to play this game again on PS5 in maybe like upscaled graphics. That would be amazing. Look at that. Just smooth as butter. I really want the younger people to, uh, younger Call of Duty players to experience Modern Warfare 2. So hopefully Activision's gonna bite and we can, we can get this. A lot of people called, and I think including myself, but it was over 10 years ago, so... I don't know, 10 years ago, Krahu, did you want this gun to be patched? I think so. Uh, it was very annoying at the time because it was just UMP, UMP, UMP. But then when other Call of Duties came out, you kind of give yourself a little bit of a break. Um, after Modern Warfare 3 came out in 2000, what was that, 2011, so then we had, after Modern Warfare 2, we had Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1, you know, a lot of people did like, but a lot of people also came back to Modern Warfare 2, so the player pool was still huge. So between, I want to say, 2009 and 2013, I would say, is, is pretty healthy in terms of player pool uh, on Modern Warfare 2, so if you've ever played... Modern Warfare 2 at that time, you would probably run into um, UMP quite a bit. So this is just a top-notch S-tier type of weapon. That guy was camping with one-man army, I believe, and tactical insertions. I'm trying to get him again, but not nah, missed him. That's okay. Still pretty cool scorer. Look at that. 42 and 8. This game is great. Pure rush, pure UMP madness. So UMP 45, you get an S-tier. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.